Hello, in this video, we will be looking to the introduction to STL. We will be looking what is STL, why do you use STL, and what are the various components of STL. So, what is actually STL? It's just an acronym for Standard Template Library. It is a powerful set of C++ template classes. And these classes are actually written by some experienced programmer out there and they have just made a library out of it and contributed to the C++ community. And we as a programmer just import that library and use it in our program as we like. C++ STL is divided into three well-structured components, algorithms, containers, iterators. We'll be discussing them one by one. Before moving further, let us see why should you use STL? The first reason, you don't need to write extra code and waste your time. For example, some searching or sorting algorithm are already implemented in STL. You just need to import it and use it in your program. Secondly, STL is widely used in the world of competitive programming and it really helps in interview round problems. Believe me, once you start using STL, you are barely writing any program that is without STL. Each and every program you will be writing mostly consisting of STL containers and features of STL. So what are containers? Containers are actually something that stores your actual data. As in case of shipments. They use container to store products and material and transfer it to another country or places. Similarly, in case of STL, you use container to store data. Containers are always generic, so they can hold any kind of data type, be it integer, be it float, be it string, be it any kind of data type. Containers can widely divided into two types, namely sequence and associative. In sequence, the data are stored in the sequence manner whereas in associative the data are stored in the kind of key value pairs actually. So we will be not looking much of the theory. I will be providing the link of this PPT in the description you can download it from there for your reference. So what does algorithm means in C++ STL? Suppose you have a container which is containing some data and you can't perform any operation on it, then the data stored in the containers are of no use. So algorithm provides the means by which we will be performing initialization, sorting, searching or various other operation on the data that is stored in the container. Suppose you are having a series of number stored in an array and you want to sort it. So you can use sorting algorithms to sort it. C++ STL provides sort function for sorting arrays or list of various kind of data stored in the containers. Algorithm directly cannot act upon containers. So we have iterators for it. As the name suggests, iterators, it just iterates through the elements of the container and performs certain operation. Iterator is basically the bridge between the algorithms and containers. Nothing more. Oof, enough of the theory. So let me sum it up for you. We have the major problem data is there. Then we have containers, then we have iterators, and we have algorithms. These three are major components of STL. The actual data is contained by the containers and algorithm manipulate them but they cannot do it directly so they take the help of iterator to do that so in this video we have looked much of the theory but from the next video we'll be doing it practically so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video do like the video if you like the content.